We'll open Acts chapter 18, 24 to 28. Acts chapter 18, 24. To 28. Now a Jew named Apollos, a native Alexandria, Alexandria, came to Ephesus. He was an eloquent man, competent in the scriptures. He began to speak boldly in the synagogue, but where Priscilla and Achilla heard him, they took him, took him aside and explained to him the way of God more accurately. For he powerfully refuted the Jews in public, Shown by the scriptures that the Christ was Jesus. Amen. Satan deceives. That's all he does. Looking at your reality situation, Satan deceives. You cannot do it. You failed. Um, Joseph, looking at his own reality, Satan could deceive you in his thought. Because you're in slavery, because you're in jail, your life is finished. There's no hope. You should become hopeless. Satan does deceive through your thoughts. For many years in our lives, through everything that we see, we hear, and we feel, while we experience this, Satan has been deceiving us. That's what he does. Looking at your grades, Satan deceived you. Because of that, you failed. Looking at your family, looking at your background, looking at your mistakes, Satan's deceiving. Because of that, you've been failed. That you cannot do it anymore. That God's not going to use you. That it's not going to happen again. Giving it up, that's what Satan does. Satan always deceives. When you're betrayed, Satan deceives. It's the end of your world. When you fail, Satan deceives. You cannot recover. Satan is good at it. He's professional at deceiving you. So many times, your thoughts and your, your mind are deceived. Last week, I shared the message, and Pastor Shin shared the message. Do not be disappointed at people. And whenever you're disappointed, he, he told us, and through Pastor Shin, and through even I shared that, let's hold on to Christ. Last Sunday was Christmas Sunday. So I asked, I asked all our young youth group, college group, and high school groups, to come to church by 5 o'clock, don't leave church and just be here until 5 so that we can have practice, so that we can do great performance on the stage. 4.30, I saw Daniel was there. Um, I saw 4.30, Sam started complaining, I want to go home. 4.30, before 4.30, Nathan told me I got to go somewhere. Okay, I'm like, okay, come back by 5. 5, no one was here. I texted them. Somebody didn't answer. He was in a sleep. Texted them. They answered me back. I don't need to practice. I'm like, you're not good at it. And he's like, it's a piece of cake. And that's the guy who had his paper upside down from the beginning. He needed practice. He showed us he needed practice. Another one, I don't need practice. I told him, don't you practice for soccer? He's like, this is different. I don't need to practice. He hang off on the phone. 5 o'clock, no one show up. 5-5, five, five, no one show up. I got super mad. And I told, it was the first time I was swearing at remnants. What? what going on with these remnants, right? And then I told Dongbin, Dick and Jimmy, and everyone in the back, we're not going to do this. And then I, I had all the papers that they wrote. And in my mind, I, I already imagining and dreaming that I am ripping it off in half and throw, the, throw on the ground. I was doing it a thousand times already. And I went back to my room. All I did, I couldn't stop thinking, ripping all the papers off and just messing it up. 
So I just opened up prayer, uh, my purpose message. That day, purpose message uh, title was this, Endless Renewal for the Sake of the Gospel. So I'm like, okay, Lord, I'm going to renew. But when are these kids going to renew? So I was just complaining, God, am I the only one who needs to renew all the time? When are they going to renew? And I was complaining myself like this thousand times. And you know, it was only 10 minutes that they didn't really show up. 5, 10, I came. Nathan was already here. Song Yin was already here, prepared. Of course, Sam was, didn't need his practice because he's professional. Daniel, of course, he doesn't need his genius. So only two are missing. Everyone was here. But for that 10 minutes, my thoughts and Satan was deceiving. This Christmas performance will be messed up. It's not going to be successful. Look at these kids. They don't even listen to you. What I'm telling you, I've been deceived. This is not going to work. It turns out to be great. Because they didn't practice, they had to pray to receive the guidance of the Spirit. When Spirit guided them, it was even perfect. Better. Satan deceived. What I realized, because of our kids, this remnant who's very unique and absolute, enjoying the blessing of only, they actually led me to the Word of God. And when I realized, oh, because of this, I was able to root in the Word of God. I was able to resonate with the Word. Instead of being very mad at them, I was be able to be grateful for Daniel and Sam and every remnant because they have led me to the Word of God. What did Joseph confess to his brothers? When Satan deceived Joseph, you failed because of your arrogancy. Your brother sold you that you're in slavery, but about to have another hope. Now you're going into the jail. What did, what did Joseph confess to the brother, brother? He says, verse 5, Do not be distressed or angry with yourselves because you sold me here. For God sent me before you to preserve a life. This is absolute plan that goes beyond Satan's deception. Satan deceived you according to your mistakes, according to what happened to you. But what Satan cannot do, Satan cannot overcome the remnant who holds on to the covenant. Joseph confessed, and God sent me before you to preserve for you a life, a remnant on earth. That remnant signifies Christ. Because God needs to send Christ through the sons of Jacob. Now God had to preserve Joseph to Egypt to bring all the brothers of Jacob to the Egypt to have Christ in the future. To preserve a remnant who is Christ, God planned everything ahead for Joseph. You know what we realized once we accepted Christ? This is what we realized. I have been deceived. Satan has been deceiving me for so long that I have Christ that I'm not going to be deceived anymore. All the past and present future, may all that lead you to the absoluteness of Christ alone. That you may start to realize you are designed for nothing else but Christ alone. You will start to understand what your, where your life is going towards. Not for the things the world has offered you, but it goes beyond. That we are designed for Christ alone. Remnant 1 Peter chapter 5. Verse 7 and 8. Bible tells us, Casting all your anxiety on him because he takes care of you. Amen. Cast all your anxiety. He cares out for you. Be sober-minded. Be watchful. Your adversary, the devil, prowls around like a rolling lion, seeking someone to devour, seeking someone to be someone who are anxious. Cast your all anxieties. On to him, he cares for you.
Philippians chapter 4, verses 7. Do not be anxious about anything. Amen. But in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. Your request, your anxiety, your worries, let it be known to God. What is he saying? But with thanksgiving, let it be known to God and the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Amen. Satan has been deceiving us, only deceiving us. He couldn't destroy you. He couldn't finish your life. He couldn't bring the end to you. He couldn't do anything because God is with us. This is our only. So remnants, bring your anxiety to him. Do not be anxious. But by thanksgiving, by supplication, bring everything and make him know what you're going through. So then let him guard your heart and mind with the peace of God in Christ Jesus. James 4, 7. May we also look at James 4, 7. Bible tells us, Summit yourselves, therefore, to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Amen. Summit yourselves to God. Who is this God? This is my Lord, my Father. And Satan will flee from you. Amen. First John 3.8. The reason the Son of God appeared on the earth to destroy work of the devil. First day of 2023, how are we going to start? Start by believing in only Christ, having faith that transcends our reality. Start by breaking down force of darkness. Let's look at Colossians chapter 2. We'll read verse 14, 13 to 15. Thirteen to fifteen. What did Christ has have, have done for us? Especially starting 14, uh, 13, having forgiven us all our trespasses by canceling the record of the debt that stood against us. With its legal demands, this he set aside, nailing it, nailing it to the cross. He disarmed the rulers and authorities and put them to open shame by triumphing over them in him. Amen. Start our day with faith that transcends my knowledge, my science, my interpretation, my analogy. That goes beyond my science, my knowledge. Faith in Christ will destroy work of Satan. Amen. This is our only. Our only remnant. Never forget. This is our only. God is with us. Whatever we do, wherever we go. God is with us. You may be in something else, but God is with us that we are the temple of God. If we are looking for of who you are without, having, without knowing that God is with you, you will be forever lost. Because someone or something will again claim you belong to them, you belong to this. You will be always confused unless... We understand and know God is with us. Always. We are children of God. What does that mean that God is with us? That means Satan is no longer your governor. Amen. 
This means sin does not control you anymore. This means we don't belong to hell. God is with us is beyond my reality. It's been always Satan deceiving me. God is with me. That means Satan cannot destroy us. He's not our governor anymore. He's not the control tower. It's not the sin that will motivate my life, but it will be God who guides our life. Our life is changed. It's transformed. God is with us. Can we bless each other? Are you lost? God is with you. Tell them one more time. Never forget. God is with you. This means we don't focus to the sound of the world. This means we do not focus on the knowledge of the world. Only means we don't follow ideology of this world. This doesn't mean that we ignore. This doesn't mean that we do not learn. This means that we do not rely on. We do not rely on the worldly things. We do learn. We are educated. We do understand what it is, but our faith is not in the worldly things anymore. Our things is in the things of Christ that goes beyond the things of the world. We don't rely. We rely on only Christ. This is the contents of our only. But do not ignore. Because the word, things of the world is actually the, that is visible content that does rule the world. But what we do, we do not rely on. We rely on Christ alone. This means, God is with us means we're not falling into six destinies of unbelievers. With the destinies as a child of Satan. Destiny to do the idol worship. Destiny to suffer mental, physical suffering. Destiny to fear the future. Destiny to bring the spiritual problem to the next generation. No longer part of our life. God is with me. It's a different thing. We no longer belong to Satan. We are transformed to the new world in Christ. We are in a new age in Christ. We no longer belong to the world. We no longer belong to the things of the world, but we belong to God. Colossians chapter 2, 6 and 7, Bible says, Therefore, as you received Christ Jesus the Lord, so walk in Him, root and build up in Him. That's been our only now. You are being saved, walk in Christ, root in Christ, built up in Christ, give thanks through Christ to our Father God. This is our only. Something Apollos didn't know. Something Priscilla Aquila told Apollos. In Christ, there is no Satan. In Christ, no original sin. In Christ, we have been set free from sin and death. In Christ, we found the way, the truth, and the life. In Christ, Satan has been demolished. In Christ, through Christ, God is with us. We don't rely on the things of the world, but we have, we're, we're equipping faith that transcends things of the world. This is new life, newly created in Christ. <clears throat> Through the retreat, one of the remnant had an internship, internship for high school and college students. And he shared, this inter he shared the story saying that when he was in high school, he had a hard time. Having a sleep, uh, taking sleeping pill, couldn't go to sleep, um, 
always having anxieties, like worries about death, like the finding the meaning of the life. But his grace was 4.8. It was beyond average grace. You know what? He told us this. When he told me this, he told us this. This, this really hurt me. He went to church. He had a pastor next to him. But no one told him Jesus is the Christ. If you imagine, all right, this guy's having above, beyond average GPA, but doing drugs, suffering, finding the meaning of the life, but no one's there. His parents not even with him there. How hard it would be to be alone with no one around him have no meaning in his life. Trying to find the meaning, had a pastor next to him, went to the church, no one told him Jesus is the Christ. How sad it is that he had no one back then. And our question is, that friend, that of him, may be around you today. That friend of you might have great grace that maybe of your friends might have great background, but don't even know the meaning of the life. Doing the drugs, suffering every night. So he's suffering, but he doesn't act like he's suffering. He would act like he's doing something. He has accomplished something. But now he's at the end of his life. Maybe next to you, looking for the answer, 2023, we got to send as a witness, bring only to those dying. Amen. Remnants stand strong. It's not done. It's not time to give up. Your life is not, doesn't have to be occupied with the things of the world. Our life is newly created in Christ to live for Him. We are transformed. We are for Christ. Amen? That means we are for those who are dying. We are for those who are lost. We got to give them what they are looking for. They will not act like they need someone like you. But do not be deceived. They need the gospel. Restoration of only will be our message for 2023. What are we supposed to pray? God, restore me. The content of only that transcend the problem of this age. <clears throat> we will understand and experience power of the gospel. This message Pastor Shin gave us last Wednesday to college, to high school. I want to include even to young adults, even to everyone who's sitting here. We will understand and know power of the gospel through the word of God. Proverbs chapter 9 verse 10. Fear of the Lord is the beginning of the wisdom. Knowledge of the Holy One is insight. How do we know and understand the power of the word, power of the gospel? Through the word of God. Through the word, it will keep remind you you're recreated. It will remind you Christ has overcome everything. When nothing can comfort you, when you're in slavery and captives, Christ will be your comfort. The comfort from above, not from bottom. Comfort from above will be your strength, will be your peace, will be your source. Word will, able, will enable us to know power of the gospel. Time to change frame of our walk of faith. I know in many ways we have our, our own frame of our walk of faith. For my walk of faith, I do this, I do that. 2023, may we break our own frame of our, our own walk of faith, but goes beyond for the sake of the gospel 
to the glory of God. How are we going to experience this? Through the word of God. Many times, some remnants are asking and saying, sometimes I don't understand words when I listen to. When you cannot understand, don't fall in, in your own thought, thinking that I cannot understand. Break the force of darkness that make you not understand the word of God. If you come to realize you don't understand, don't stay there. Break the frame of not understanding it. Breaking the name of Jesus Christ so that God may reveal the truth to your heart. Beyond your own understanding, may God do his own work. So remnants, 2023, we will break the frame of my walk of faith through the word of God. And the word will motivate you. The word will be strength, strength of our walk of faith. And making this word as mine is prayer. God's word is my prayer. Let only be mine. Let me experience the power of the gospel 2023. Let me break down all the forces of darkness. Lord, let me not be deceived to my own thoughts, to the sound of the people, to the knowledge of the world. Lord, let me know I'm changed. According to the word, make it as my prayer. What are you going to meditate when you're alone? Word of God may be the solely content that you might meditate. Do not be worried. In the word of God, in prayer, your life is included. Your business is included. Your future is included. Praying, holding on to word of God does not mean that you're excluding your life. Praying, holding on to the word, in the word, you will find the treasure that's been hidden in it. Life, your life, your business, your school, your future, your talents, everything will be found in the word and with a prayer according to the word of God. Do we believe in this? This is why holding on to word and pray is everything. And when we pray, Holy Spirit begin to work in a miraculous way, in a way you never imagined, in a way God planned. The Holy Spirit will start to work. When Spirit works, no one can stop. Our retreat, for the first time through the retreat, we designed the retreat to invite unbelievers. So the first, the schedule, first day of the schedule of the retreat was literally hanging out with, hanging out together, watching movie, eat good dinner, and go bowling. So we came, we came to turn on the movie, and Daniel says, oh, I thought it's a horror movie. And Nathan says, what do you think we're going to watch in church? So we watched literally Christian movie. And there were, of course, one unbeliever invited to our retreat. I don't know how Daniel brought him. Maybe Daniel brought him. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. Starting with Christian movie. <laughs> calling Case for Christ. Very grateful one of our remnants started to bother our movie time. He started to snore. During the middle of the movie. <laughs> it was loud. You know what I realized? Even the snoring couldn't stop someone accepting Christ. Even though our remnant bothered it so much, Holy Spirit worked beyond. And that, that unbeliever, it was his first step in his life to the church. First time hearing the gospel. And that guy accepted Christ. And the next day, Daniel invited him again. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. And we brought him to Woodfield Mall. And then what we do, read this, you're going to evangelize. <laughs> I've never done this. And then that's what we did. He accepted Christ. And through him, another person again accepted Christ. Two people accepted Christ. When the Holy Spirit works, it goes beyond your ability. Do we believe in this? Too many times, we limit our future under my ability. 
But our future is hidden in the kingdom of God. And with the key to the kingdom, which is Christ, Holy Spirit will start to work. If the door of heaven open, no one can stop. Blessing of the throne comes upon you, no one can stop. Holy Spirit works, no one can block God's fulfilling His word of God to your life. What is your prayer topic for 2023? I have mine. My prayer topic for 2023, Lord, fulfill, accomplish every word that you speak on my life. Even when I cannot believe, even when I, I cannot remember, may you accomplish every single word that you speak, you speak on my life. That's my prayer topic for 2023. What is yours? 2023 remnants experience the power of the gospel. And that will be our uniqueness. Word is our uniqueness. Prayer is our uniqueness. Work of the Holy Spirit is our uniqueness. The characteristic of our remnant is only. The characteristic of our remnant is uniqueness. Then what is the characteristic of our remnant? It's a recreation. That the recreation of you in 2023, you may know you are the church that has peace, not from the earth, but from above. You are the church that is, that is being built up by the working of the Holy Spirit every day. As the church, your life is not going to be sold for you. 2023, open your life to 237 nation. May you be the church and build a church that will have the courtyard for all. Remnants, do not dis disregard. Those who are different from you. Do not disregard those who are falling into the inaccurate thing. Remnants, be the remnant that you may embrace 237 nation. To your field, into your field, to your platform. Let them come to you boldly to hear that Jesus is the Christ. 2023, we will... We'll enjoy the blessing of the healing. This means we will become the courtyard of prayer. Pastor Shin 2023 told us we must experience spiritual healing first. This person is mentally broken. This person is physically broken. No. That person might be spiritually dead. What we need to bring we need to bring spiritual healing. I'm tired. I'm exhausted. I'm mentally broken. I'm physically tired. Maybe not. Maybe spiritually you're dead. We, we restore prayer in our lives. To experience true spiritual healing in our life. That no one can offer. We do what the world cannot offer. We offer the people the fundamental healing of the spirit. With our prayer. And we experience that true healing in our lives through prayer. No one will be there to understand you 100%. And actually no one is able to do that. But God will do it. He will heal you. He will guide you. He will bring, use everything of you as a platform to the kingdom of God to bring true healing to another generation. Remnant, you may be involved in blessing of prayer. John chapter 16, 24. You have not asked anything in my name. Ask. I will give. Your joy will be fulfilled. In the name of Jesus Christ, we're given right to pray in the name of Jesus Christ. You may enjoy so that you may heal others. That we will be the church now 
who will take care of you, who will raise Summit. Who will be the courtyard of four or of children? Next generation. I am a child. I don't have kid yet. No, that's a that that's really immature thoughts. You're here to raise next generation. You're here to raise next remnant. You're here to raise the church. You're formed different. You're formed for Christ for next generation. You are the model for the next remnant, next remnant movement. They will look at you, they will, they will, they would be one, they will think that they want to be like you. They want to be like Sam. Right, Sam? Did you know that? My son wanted to be like you. Have you ever thought that? He wanted to have a haircut like you. He wanted. He wanted to play soccer like you. didn't know that, right? Joseph P. wanted to sing like Crystal. She's like, Crystal, honey. And she's always singing. You didn't know. Kids here will, want, will, will desire, they desire to be like one of you. Did you know? Amen. Yes. <laughs> they want to be like us. We will be the model. Pastor Shin says, therefore, we change priority. Not only for the sake of myself, my life, for the sake of the future generation, so that their life be redirected from the beginning to the Christ, we change our priority. That's why we are here today. Because our priority is different now. <clears throat> we will focus building the spiritual system. That will never crumble. That will never be shaken. Our spiritual system. Only uniqueness recreation. That will be our system. This is our characteristic. This will be our culture. This will people see and they will come draw near to you. This is the content they will be attracted to you. Again, reason the church do not offer the world offer is because we know the world has failed. The world has been deceived by Satan. We offer what the world cannot offer, what the world can't even imagine. We offer them Christ. We offer them the kingdom of God. We offer them the mystery of the filling of the Holy Spirit. We offer them how to pray. We offer them what is worship. We give them the new taste of the gospel. This is what we will do in 2023. Philippians chapter 34, verse 13. I can do anything. Everything through him whom, who gives me strength. Many times when we think about it, we say, okay, I can do anything. That means I will succeed one day. I will make money. No, before that, this means I can do anything means I can always worship. I can always pray through him who strengthens me. I can always evangelize. I can always worship. I can always glorify God. I can always do spiritual thing. I can prioritize spiritual thing through Him who strengthens me. Amen. Many times people use the name of the Lord for their success, but many times they don't use the name of the Lord for their walk of faith, which is super important. For your walk of faith, I can do anything through him who gives me the strength. I can go to Friday night service. I can go to early morning service. I can go to Wednesday service. I can stay in church for the service. Even when I'm sick, I can come worship God. Even when I'm confused, I can pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Through him who strengthens me, unending me. With the confession with the message that we hold on to. May we challenge 
to build a spiritual system. So Pastor Shin, today and yesterday, Remnants 2023, worship. Don't lose worship. Bless each other. Don't lose worship. Again, bless each other. Don't give up on worship. And bless them one more time. I will come after you. <laughs> don't give up. And don't lose. And I can do anything through him who gives me the strength. And what did Pastor Shin told us to do? Whether you do this or not, he said, hold on to this and bring it with you all the time. What was it? Prayer journal. And what did he say? Put your name on it. Oh, this is Korean church. They're not going to read English. So Michael wrote in Korean his name in his prayer journal. Write your name on the prayer journal. I don't have it. Request it. You'll be given. I can do anything. What can we do? We can worship. We can do prayer journal. We can restore spiritual things. We can rebuild spiritual system. Our only uniqueness, recreation, will be the characteristic of remnants. That will be your culture. That will be the culture the world will come after. That will be attracted to what you are convicted for. If you're saved by one contents, live by one thing. And live for one thing. Don't confuse. Don't be confused. Don't live for one day for Jesus, one day for the world. Live for Christ alone. That will come after and ask you, what's the mystery that you have that gives you that peace, that comfort? What's the thing that you're given that make you different? And that's when we will confess Jesus is the Christ. 2023, let us enjoy the living word of God being fulfilled in our lives. Amen. Let us have time of prayer and we will praise. to the 
the pure delight of a single heart. Oh, the pure delight of a single heart. That before thy throne I spend. There are depths of love. There are depths of love that I cannot know till I cross the narrow sea. There are heights of that I may not reach until I rest. Fills my 
my heart, mind, and soul. I live for Christ so long, so that this last month can be made known. Pressing on for God's kingdom and glory. All my heavenly pride, and there's a spirit of the Lord. make that word as our prayer and we'll have time of prayer all together. Father, thank you for building us and thank you for calling us as a church that has true peace. And you have called us as a church that has been built by the Holy Spirit, by the fear of the Lord. Lord, as you gave us the word today, we really desire that only to be the content of our faith, only to be the content to heal others, only to be the content to save others. Father, open our ears, open our hearts, understand the word of God and your desire and let truly make us make your word as our prayer and may you make your word be fulfilled in our lives and let the word of God become our lives and let us stand as a witness of the living word. Father, truly bless us to know the power of the power of the gospel through the word of God through prayer by experiencing the work of the Holy Spirit. Let the only uniqueness and recreation become the culture of our church, become the system, and let it be the characteristic of our life. Father, with the power that you provide us every day, with the power that you provide us every single second and hour, we want to bring them, use that power, utilize that power for the word of God, for the worship, to save others, to bring the gospel to the ends of the earth. Let us stand as, to, as, stand as a courtyard, that will embrace 237. Father, through us, may you truly bring the healing and raise the next generation. Father, we pray that your word becomes a meditation of our soul. Let it be the meditation of our prayer. Let it be the meditation when we are alone. Father, we would confess that your word is enough, that your word is perfect, that your word is everything. Father, we are given the world cannot offer that this is a content that we need to offer the world 
that Lord let us really truly bring this gospel to the hearts of those who are dying and may we never disregard those who are lost may we never disregard the, those who are following the inaccurate things but Lord burn our hearts burn our souls so that we may we may bring live only to the glory of God for the kingdom Now the grace of Jesus Christ, who is the true king, the true priest, and true prophet, who has destroyed the work of Satan, power of hell, the curses of sin, and the love of our Father God that is unending, unchanging, but fulfilling and accomplishing, and indwelling guidance and working of the Holy Spirit upon all the remnants who will stand as a church with a church that has a peace is being built up who will stand as a church to save 237 nations and bring healing and rage summit be upon all the remnants holding on to the word of God now and forever